somebody if you have something to be thankful for tonight can you hop on your feet and give god a ridiculous praise come on hallelujah to god be the glory come on this is what we came here for is to lift up to shabbat the name of jesus for there's no other help that we know he's wonderful he's mighty he's awesome he's good he's great he's kind he's better than that he's better than good hallelujah to god can we raise the roof just a little bit with our praise come on it ain't for pastor farrell it ain't for your pastor it ain't for your mama or your daddy let's give jesus a round of applause for he's worthy of all the praise from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same our god shall be praised and we exhort him on high and we magnify him on high i want to do it old school can we all come around the altar remember we used to do that we rarely stayed in the pews in old time church and because wesley this friday night we want to come to the altar and ye shut up by yesterday and we want to lift up holy hands why because i may be in trouble why because you may have a stronghold in your life why because your son and your daughter need deliverance you got some parents in your life they don't know who jesus is that's why we're here today to lift up the name of jesus he say if i be lifted up how many come to lift up jesus Oh shit, take it. How many come to lift up the one that say, I am that I am. The way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except he come by me. Oh, we come to pray heaven down on tonight. We come to Shabbat God. Why? Because the Bible says he's a present help in the time of trouble. Come on, pray with me. We love to pray spirit of the living god fall afresh down on us god it's another moment it's another time you have allowed a few of your handmade service to gather together in one place for one purpose and that is to lift up to magnify to exhort the name of jesus god we thank you god for you did it again you woke us up you woke us up god we thank you that you touched us early this morning with the finger of life and for that cause we want to give you praise for that cause we want to give your name honor god we come collectively telling you that we're still in love with you god we're still effectuated over you we thank you for everything you've done we thank you god for what you're going to do we thank you god for setting the captive free father when we were way down God, you lifted us. And we thank you, God, that you are a lifter of the hung down head. Oh, God, we pray tonight, not asking you for anything, but we thank you for everything. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. Thank you for making a way, God, when I couldn't see my way. Hey, God, when I didn't have a testimony. Father, when I didn't have enough. Father, when pain was wrecking my body, I'm talking to somebody. God, when it seemed like the doctor couldn't diagnose the problem. God, when it seemed like my money was acting funny. Oh, God, when it seemed like my mind was gone. God, I thank you, God, that you were right there just to see about us. You were a present help in a time of trouble. And for that cause, for the rest of our life, for the rest of my day, we want to tell you thank you. Oh God, we pray tonight that Shekinah glory will fill this house because we came with expectation. We expect a move. We expect a change. We expect elevation. We expect God for your spirit to overshadow us and to change everything that needs to be changed to renew everything in my life that needs to be renewed father i allow you to do some adjustments i need some adjustments with my anger i need some adjustments god with relationships with my family member with my husband with your wife with your children oh god we come sacrificially all around this altar god asking you to clean us up god wash us fresh make us clean 
from the inside out. Why? Because can't nobody do us like you, God. You are the one. You are the lifter of our head. And for that cause, we tell you, thank you. God, we give you praise. We give you honor, God, for the Holy Ghost, Paracleti, that's already moving in the midst. He's already moving in the midst, God. And we step out the way and we ask the Holy Ghost to get in the way. Rest rule and abide in this tabernacle. God, rest rule and abide in this temple. Clean us up. Straighten us up, God. Put running in our feet. Put clapping in my hands. Put a servant in my heart that I can give more than I receive. In the name of Jesus. Father, bless the children, God. Give them a mind to want to worship. Give them a mind to want to pray. Give them a mind to want to be obedient to them that have the rule over them. In the name of Jesus, as these parents come to the altar in intercession for their children, for their grandchildren, for their adopted children, we lift up our children now. God bless them. Touch them, God. Give them a spirit of obedience. Give them a spirit, God, like none other in the name of Jesus and we will give your name praise we will give your name honor we rebuke death oh God we rebuke death we rebuke the suicidal spirit it shall not have dominion we rebuke cancer we rebuke high blood pressure we rebuke low blood pressure in the name of Jesus you nailed it to the cross so we can have life and have life more abundantly and God on tonight let your fire fall let your fire fall every time your name is called move move we don't want it no more take me out bring me in lift me up God we want to change we want you to renew our minds give us a hunger give us a thirst after righteousness and we'll do your word we'll tell somebody we'll be a witness we won't be scared my lifestyle my lifestyle will be an example to my love for you is there anybody else in here want to give God a crazy praise give him a praise one two three oh come on raise your hand Hallelujah! This ain't no ordinary service. This ain't no ordinary song. God is waiting to hear your voice. I know he heard you yesterday. I know he heard you this morning. But now is high time for the Spirit of God to move in this place. Get out of your comfort zone. You did that last Sunday. Give him a new praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, give him a new worship. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, he's a good God. He's done great things for you. He loosed your shackles. Remember when he brought you out? Remember when he delivered you? Remember when he wiped the tears? Earth has no sorrow that Jesus can heal. And God on tonight, let your fire fall. Clean me up. Purify us. Dip us in the fire. Give the play I buy that take it. The Alabama shall take all of you. The Spirit of God is in this place. He's moving from heart to heart. You can't stay the same. You can't remain the same. Spirit of lust, you got to go. I say, Spirit of lust. You got to leave. We decree the blood of Jesus over the mind of the men. Every man under the sound of my voice. Every man that's watching on Facebook and YouTube. I pray that the Spirit of God will regulate your mind. Clean your mind up. Think on things that's pure. Things that are lovely. Things that are of a good report. Renew my mind. Renew my mind. Help me, Jesus. 
God, I stand in the need. Come on, every man in here, I stand in the need. I stand in the need. I stand in the need. I need your help, God. Help me to be the priest of my home. Help me to be the provider of my home. Help me to be the protector of my home. God, I don't, I don't want to leave the same way. I come with expectation. I need a move. I need a touch like only you can touch. Father, look on your woman servant. Look on your lady servant. Lower them down in your wisdom. Give them to be wise women, not folly women. Give them to love, honor, and respect. Help them, God, to be good stewards over what you planted their hands over. Give them, God, to be dream chaser. I speak in the life of every woman in here. Your dreams will come to pass. You will win. You will not be defeated. I say you will not be defeated. You're coming out of this. God say you're coming out of this. Pain in your body. We plead the blood of Jesus. Come on. God say put your hand where the pain is. I'm talking to every lady in here. You that are watching. God say put your hand where the pain is. And plead the blood of Jesus. If you don't want it, don't do it. But only you that want healing. Only you that want another touch. The Bible says, by his stripes. Come on, I need you to believe it. By his stripes, we are healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Jesus died over 2,000 years ago. So that you could be pain free. So that you could be painless. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the EKG say. God say you shall live. You shall live. You shall prosper. God say take back. God say take back. Come on, take back. Everybody in here. God say it's yours. Take it back. What the devil stole from you. God say what some of you gave to him because of your weakness, because of your frailty, because you was church hurt. God say go back and get it. Go back and get your stuff. No longer, no longer will the enemy have dominion over your body. I need somebody that's crazy enough to believe the word of God. To give God a Shabbat. Yeah. Come on, that ain't loud enough. They made more noise than that at the club. Come on. Come on. It ain't no star in here. Jesus is the star. Ain't no stars in here. We all in trouble. We all, we all need, we all crying out. We all need. God, if you don't do it, if you don't save them, if you don't deliver them, God, where shall we go? That's why we lean on you. We lean on you, Jesus. We lean on you, Jesus. Because no other help that we know. Recognize relationships. We speak in relationships. Husband and wives. Wives and husbands. Boyfriend and girlfriend. We speak in family relationship. We speak of oneness. We bind the spirit of division. I feel it in the house. We bind the spirit of division. You must come subject to the word of God. God say, get your feelings out. God say, get your feelings out of it. And God say, walk in faith. Get your feelings out of it. And God say, walk in faith. Hey! Yes, Lord. There's a yes, Lord, in this house. There's a yes, Jesus, in my spirit. God, I tell you yes. Because we're walking in authority. I'm talking to everybody. You're walking in your victory. 
I need you to speak over your future. Come on, I need everybody to speak over your future. Come on, tell your future what it's going to be. Come on, speak in your future. He shall talk about that shit. God, save my loved ones. Save my family members. I speak increase on my job. Come on, speak it. I speak healing in my mind. Come on, speak in your future. God said if you speak it now, God said if you believe me now, I give it to you. God said if you speak it now, I'll give it to you. What is it that you've been waiting on God to do? God say praise me. God say praise me, Wesley, like it's already yours. Come on. It's already yours. Praise him because it's already done. Oh, come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, people of God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't lose your cry. Some of you ain't cried in a long time. Some of you ain't wailed in a long time. God say, don't lose your cry. God say, don't lose your cry. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. He wants to hear your voice. Everybody pray. Everybody worship. Everybody believe. Everybody receive. Come on. Come on. This is the time for impartation. I hear the Holy Ghost say, he wants to impart the best in you. God say, I want to impart the best in you. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Shatakabo Shoto. Train up a child the way that they should go. And when they are old, they want to depart from it. In Jesus' name. Come on, saints. Strongholds are being broken. You got to believe it. I see it. Strongholds are being broken. Even now. Even now. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. Whew, glory to God. What's a lot right there? Strongholds are being broken. Even now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come here, preacher. Strongholds are being broken. Even now. In the name of Jesus. No longer will the enemy have dominion over your mind. I know it comes and goes. But God say no longer. Yes, shot top by. Yes, shit. God say you are delivered. Just walk in it. You are delivered. Just walk in it. Come on. No weapon form against you shall prosper. God say no weapon form against you shall prosper. God say walk in your dominion. Father, bless this man. Do a work in his life. Do a 180. Give him a heart to call and to cry out. Jesus. Travis, I want you to say Jesus. Say Jesus. Save me. Father, bless this man servant. Give him a spirit of humbleness. Help him to understand he got to walk in his divine calling. We rebuke the assignment of the enemy concerning his health, concerning his wealth, in the name of Jesus. Hey! Come on, where the victor is at? Come on, where the victory saints at? Come on, everybody. Everybody. Give God praise. Give God praise. For if it had not been for the Lord, that brought you out where would you be we speak dominion I pray that you agitate the enemy's camp when you go back home when you go back in the car you will disturb the enemy's camp your prayer life will disturb the enemy's camp no longer will evil forces hover around your home bye 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 shit take care we bind every evil else that come and try to set up dominion in your home over your daughter over your son over your husband we plead the blood of jesus every generational curse we curse it by the blood of jesus 
not by my power, but by the power of Jesus. Every generational curse, it ends today. It ends today. Hey, I believe it. Come on. Come on, I believe it. Come on, let's worship. Come on, hallelujah. Raise your hand over the building. Let's worship him. That's all we come to do. That's all we want to do. Because It's to worship him. That's all we want to do. That's all we come to do. Is to worship. That's all we come to do. <laughs> That's all we want to do. Is worship Is worship That's all we come to do. That's all we want to do. Yeah, is to worship him. Come on, this is personal. Come on, say to worship him. Come on, say that's all we come to do. The Bible says, sing unto the Lord a new song. That's all we want. Come on, let me hear you say to worship him. Woo, the spirit of Yahshua, the spirit of truth is in this place. I bind the spirit of false advertisement. That's all we come to do. That's all we want to do. For the rest of my life to worship Him. <laughs> hey, to worship Him. Come on, let's say, say welcome. Say welcome into this. Come on, everybody. Come on. Say welcome. Welcome. And to this broken vessel. Come on, let me hear you say, you desire, you desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we I know the devil mad. He wants you to go back and sit down and enjoy the service. But how many know to get what you never had, sometimes you got to do what you never done? How many of you ever stood up in a whole service? You say, Pastor, why I'm going to do that? Because some things come with a sacrifice. Say welcome. You say, Pastor, I ain't never done it like that before. What God is getting ready to bless you with, he said, you ain't never received it like the way I'm going to give you. I see blessings falling as you sing. I see doors opening, three of them over here. I see doors opening as you worship because you're worshiping in your pain. Some of you are worshiping even in your hurt. Some of you are worshiping even in your... As we lift our hearts, and I'm going to do this tomorrow too. As we offer up, yes I do, this praise unto your name. Come on, say Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Say everything, everything I need. Say it's here. Come on, I need you to be saying it. Come on, Jalen, let me hear you say it. Jesus is here. Even the children say everything. everything That's it. Oh, it's right here. Come on, twins. Say Jesus is here. Jesus Even the baby singing. Is everything I need. Everything I need. If we could just get it in our spirits. To the tomorrow that everything that we desire is in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, everything I need. Say it's here. Come on, say what up the divorces. Jesus. 
say everything. Everything I need. Say it's right here. Come on, last time, say it like you mean it. Yahshua Jesus. He's a comforter. He's wonderful. Say it's here. It's here. It's here. God say some things you might have to wait on. Some things it's going to take time. But God say as you worship me. God say I'm going in your future. And I'm arranging things. You got to believe it. God say if you believe me now. I change it in your tomorrow. Say it's here. What are you believing God for? That it haven't come to pass yet. My faith tell me. It's here. Is here. You don't have to wait no more. Is here. Is here. Come on, sister, home. Say it's here. Is here. That habit that I had. That nasty disposition. I gave it over to Jesus, and it's all right now. Say it's mine. Would you walk in confusion? No longer would you walk in defeat. It's mine. Come on, say it for your mother. Say it for your father. Say it for your children, your grandchildren. Say it for your mind. I'm tired of waiting. God says it's mine. God says it's mine. It's mine. receive it if you believe it you can receive it hey what's it I believe it I believe it I receive it I receive it I believe it I believe it come on say it for your pastor I believe it I receive it I receive it I believe it I believe it say I believe it I believe it I receive it I receive it I show sure you believe it. I know my circumstances don't look like it's going to happen. But I believe it. So I receive it. I believe it. Speak it to your future. Tell your past you will no longer have dominion. It's mine. The word says it's mine. The word declares it's mine. You should have whatever you believe. It's mine. It's my, my, my. It's my, my, my. It's mine. Now put a worship on it right there. Woo! What the enemy doesn't want you to do is to manifest. It ain't about possessing it. But once you manifest it, once you manifest, I should no longer be a bondage to sin. This thing that's been a thorn, yeah, by yes, sir, I feel glory. This thing that's been a thorn in your side too long, I'm talking to everybody. No longer can you continue to preach. No longer can you continue to play. No longer can you continue to serve. And you're bleeding. God say, I've seen your pain. I've seen your struggle. And God say, because you laid it at the altar, you that did, even you that are watching, God said, no longer are you going to be a slave to that habit. God say, new. Renew. New. <laughs> I hear the Holy Ghost saying, renew. He's making all things new because he's renewing you from the spirit of your mind. Come on, we got to go. Put your hands together and give God a hallelujah praise. Come on, can you hug somebody and say, I love you? Come on, a man can tell a man he loves him. It's all right. We 
He's talking about the love of Christ. How you gonna worship God and you don't love me? Where they do that at? <laughs> my God, my God. Woo! Oh my good. I feel like slapping a mic in people's hand. People that just looked up with glasses. <laughs> Don't play, but she know I do it. Hallelujah! Let the church say yeah. yeah. Say yeah. 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 yeah, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, what yes does, it open up avenues that you couldn't open. What yes says is that, God, what I couldn't do, what wasn't possible for me to do, I done whooped the boy, I done whooped the girl, I done tried to tell the truth all the time, but God, it seemed like things are still not working in my favor. God said, don't stop telling me, yeah. Give it to Jesus, Travis. Yeah. One word, three letters. Come on, you say it. Lift your voice and say it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I come from Jacksonville, Florida. I ain't from the country like y'all. But every now and then, mama will call me in the room. And grandmama will call me in the room because they know I done did something wrong. And grandmama will point at me with her finger and the fat from her arm be jingling. She said, boy, you better obey them that have a rule over you. How many know God has a rule over you? I'll obey. Come on, why you don't want to say it? Say, I'll obey. I'll obey. Whatever he tell you to do, say, I'll obey. That's it. Say, I'll obey. the youngest of five children I got two of my siblings they don't know who Jesus is they know about him but they never had an encounter with him so as I was praying up here I was praying for my two siblings that don't know Jesus in the pardon of their sins I want you to say this with me save them Lord, Lord. say that for your family save them Lord how I many you got a loved one that don't know Jesus in the pardon of their Lord. Say save them, Lord. Save, save them, Lord. Lord. Come on, Wesley. Say save. Save, save them, Lord. Lord. Please, Lord Jesus. Save, save them, Lord. Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Give God a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. The devil can't stand. The devil don't like when we are one accord. It gives him a headache. It makes him want to go take a bow movement. Great God. He can't stand when the saints come together and we come on one accord. Because do you know what happened, Minister Tamara, when we come on one court? Everything that's not like God, it got to die. It got to be, look at somebody say, burn up in the fire. I wish I could get about 16 of y'all that would decree this in this place. Say, I'm a fire starter. Huh? I know back in the day, it wasn't good for you to light matches, amen, and burn the house down. But I'm talking about in the spirit realm on tonight. God say for some of you, things won't change until you become an agitator to the enemy's camp. God say there's some things you need to throw in the fire and let it burn. When it burns, I just heard the Holy Ghost say, You'll remember it no more. I said, When it burns, you'll remember it no more. Look at somebody say, Fire, 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 say, Fire, 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 f
nossa cor. Você vai, 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 Come on, just put your hands together. Back in the day, the mothers I had two blocks, and they hit the blocks together. Every now and then, it hit their thumb, but you would never know it. And then another mother would go on the pace and get an old bass drum and start beating. And then another mother would have a tambourine. And then another mother in the back, she'll sing a song. Just like fire, just like fire, just like fire, just like fire, shut up in my bones, fire, just like fire, shut up in my bones, shut up in my bones, just like fire, just like fire, shut up in my bones, shut up in my bones, shut up in my bones, shut up in my bones. Shut up in my boat, shut up in my boat, shut up in my boat, go, 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 Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. This is warfare. You're doing warfare right now. You're doing warfare. Say you lost again. You lost again. Oh, come on, tell you lost again. Back in the day, we'll say nah, nah, nah. Y'all don't know about that. You lost again. The devil thought he had me, Sister Williams, but I got away. Come on, look at somebody say I escaped it again. Come on, decree that. Say I escaped it again. Whoo, whoo! Somebody should have ran. Hey God, some, I escaped it again. Oh, ah, I escaped it. Oh, that ain't for everybody. I say that ain't. Whew. How many of you ever had a close call? Huh? Hey God, I done had too many close calls. But every time I turn around, every time I turn around, he keeps on making a way. What kind of God you serve? I said, what kind of God you serve? That every time I turn around, he keeps on making the way. To God be the glory. Welcome to Friday Night Fire. Come on, you may be seated if you can. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Uh, and he can stay mad. Amen. Because we are victorious right where we are. Amen. We are Mount Pisgah IMC, the independent Methodist church. What God says, we are a resilient people. Say, I am resilient. 
And resilient only means that you're tough. You're strong. You know how to bounce back. You even know how to overcome difficulties quickly. That doesn't mean, Brother Travis, everything is going to work out just like that. Because some of us ain't getting in trouble just like that. Some of our marriages ain't fall, fall apart just like that. You ain't just lose all your money just like that. It took a process. Amen. It took you walking, amen, in the darkness of this world in order for that particular thing to overtake you. But you got to believe that God is working it out. And he's working it out for your good. Look at somebody say, I love the praise. I love to worship. And I love to pray. Amen. We're going to get ready, amen, to receive these ministers tonight. I told all three ministers to get ready. I told all of them to get ready. But so Tamara ain't supposed to be here. She, she planned on not coming because her body told her something. But look at somebody say, she here? Huh? She here? You can't tell me prayer don't move things. You can't tell me prayer still works. Prayer still works. If you apply prayer, prayer will work for you. But how many of you know even when you prepare your prayer to God, you got to walk it out? Somebody say walk it out. You can pray for something all your life, but if you never get up and do something, amen, won't nothing change in your life. The Bible says it better than me and you. Faith without works. What's your work looking like lately? Amen. What is your works? I'm talking about this morning. This evening, before you got in the car, before you ate your food, are you continuously working in the kingdom of God? Amen. That takes a person that's resilient and that knows that re the reward is greater than what I'm going through. Amen. I think we as Christians need to understand that what we're getting ready to go to is greater than what we're in right now. How many believe that? Oh, yes. I believe that. I'm headed to greatness in God. Amen. We ask these ministers to come, amen, and, head, and set the house on fire. Amen. So we're going to ask, who want to go first? I told somebody, but who want to go first? Nobody want to go first. Amen. Come on, call them. Man. Amen. Ain't nobody say nothing. <laughs> amen. You all right? Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Minister Marquis Quarterman. You're supposed to be ready to give the word. Yeah, like he don't want to do it. Get, huh? Come on, the Bible says the first shall be. Come on now. And the last. Come on, put your hands together as he come forth. He ready too, y'all. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a hand, y'all. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Amen. We told him we're going to give him a hot 10 minutes. Say what God got to say. Shut the devil eyes and give the devil a heart attack. Amen. And next up. Come on, can we clap our hands one more time for our very own, the minister of the house, Minister Marquis Quarterman. Where's the, the boom stand? All right, give him a boom, give him a mic, a boom stand. Come on, go ahead, you can start. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. He's been better to us than we have been Come to on, ourselves. Yes, he has. Give me honor to your pastor, Jonathan Farrell, Lee, Lady Melissa Farrell, Amen. all the ministers in their respective well, places. Yes, sir. Minister uh, Antonio, Minister Housie, and uh, Minister to Mary Young. I was about to call her Moon, but... <laughs> all, right. all right. And give an honor to Minister Williams right there. Truly we think truly it's a blessing to be in the number just one more time. That was... Truly God is good. All right. Um, turn, turn with me to um, turn with me to uh, Acts 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8, which is a very familiar, familiar scripture. Acts 1 and 8, when somebody has it, can they read that for me, please? What verse? Chapter, Acts 1, chapter, uh, 
But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the other most parts of the earth. Okay. And, um, excuse me, I, give, um, give me Isaiah 61 and 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody we going somewhere. The Spirit of the Lord, God, is upon me. Because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Okay. Give me John 20 and 21. Oh, great God. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. I learned it from you. Amen. John 20 mm -hmm. and 21. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, then Jesus said unto them again, peace be upon you. As my father has sent me, even so I send you. Okay. All right. Today, tonight we're going to talk about I'm on fire due to the Holy Ghost. I'm on fire due to the Holy Ghost. Pastor Farrell, can you read Acts 1, chapter 1, verse 8 again? That is our keynote, <laughs> our main scripture. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Judea and in Jerusalem and in the othermost parts of the earth. Oh, yeah, it said, after the Holy Ghost shall come, you shall receive power. Yes, sir. And then he said, he sent them out. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost, it was 120 people. That was on one accord. <laughs> it's after the Holy Ghost come you shall receive power. And then Isaiah said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me and I and I, yeah, the spirit of the Lord is upon me and he had a job to do. The Holy Ghost is God's spirit. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is another is Jesus' spirit. The Holy Ghost is another form of Jesus' love for us. Also, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will, yes, the Holy Ghost is a supervisor because the Holy Ghost will advise you what to do, what not to do, how to do, and when to do. And even the Holy Ghost will tell you where to go, not where to go and where not to go. We have to remember in Matthew, the 10th chapter, Jesus anointed the apostles and gave them power. But he told them where not to go. He told them to go. Don't go, don't go to the barriers, but go to the ones that were lost. What it means to be on fire due to the Holy Ghost, yes, it means that your mind is focus on the things of God and focus on you doing things God's way, how he say do it, when he say do it. Yes, a lot of people think that only, we, are on, we are only, that we are, a lot of people focus on what God has called us to do individually. But how many know that God has called us to do things all to God has called us to do things. There are things, excuse me, I know what I want to say. There are things that God has required all his children to do because we are all his children. And you might say, well, what do you mean by that? Yeah, because you are all God's children, there are some tasks that he, that all of us have to do that he wants all his children to do. <clears throat> Remember, Jesus said for us to visit the sick. <clears throat> Remember, Jesus said for us to feed the hungry. He didn't have no respectable person with that. <clears throat> Remember, Jesus said that we must go 
and visit the orphans in their time of trouble. Remember, the Bible says that we must go to the widows in their time of trouble. That is a job for who? All, all children of God. Now, yes, that is a job for all children of God. He has, he didn't just call the apostles, the five mission. He called, he called the usher. He called, he called the pew. He called the one that say they're a child of God, but they just sit down. He called everybody to work for the kingdom of God. Everybody got a job. Y'all know I like to say, y'all know I like to say that everybody is somebody in the eyesight of God, and that is true. The ones that are on, they are very limited ones that are truly on fire for God. There are now... Many say, Lord, Lord, and I got the Holy Ghost. I got the Holy Ghost. Got him in my walk. And they ain't got him because they're hard far from it. <laughs> but that's, 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 that's between you and Jesus. It's hard. You can, you, can fake, you can fake the gift, but it's hard to constantly fake what it bears all the time, especially in the time of trouble. If you ain't got it in the time of trouble, it's going to show it's going to show. Because when somebody say the wrong thing to you, if you ain't got it, you'll be done say the wrong thing. <laughs> now, also, we have to, yes, also, we have to remember, too, yes, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will, when the Holy Ghost truly comes in, the Holy Ghost don't have you thinking in your mind. The Holy Ghost have you thinking in your the Holy Ghost don't have you thinking in your mind with your flesh mind, which is your wrong mind. It has you thinking in your right mind with the things of God. Can I get a witness? And we must, and what, now, there are jobs that God has called us to do specifically for him. There are certain, yes, there's, everybody can't, Everybody can preach, everybody can teach, everybody can sing. Everybody everybody can, you know, everybody can. Everybody can beat no drum. Now, we understand the Bible says make a joy for noise. But there are some, God anointed some for chains, anointed some just for a time as this, where things could happen, chains could be broken. Uh, um, someone could be delivered. Someone better understanding. God has anointed us all specifically, specifically for His use. Yes, we have we have to remember. Uh, excuse me, Pastor Farrell. Can you read Matthew ten and one? Matthew ten and one. And when he had called unto him the twelve disciples, he gave them power against every unclean spirit to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Go, go to uh, verse, read 6, 7, and 8 for me, please. Okay. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have, receive, freely give. A lot, a lot. Now, I, I, did, some, re, I did some reading, and I realized something. That he anointed those 12 for that specific thing. He anointed those 12 to get, to have power to do that. What God has anointed uh, you to do, you, you, need to, you need to go ahead and do it. You need to be on fire for him. Now, he did say in Mark, the 50, 60, go preach to all, go preach and preach to all creatures. Now, I'm going to help y'all out with that creature thing. When he was talking about creatures, he was talking about people. He was talking about people. He wasn't talking about, he wasn't talking about your dog. He wasn't talking about your cat. He wasn't talking about your goldfish. You know, he was talking about people. 
he created. I'm just saying, cause you know, you know, people be preaching to their dog and cat and stuff. But he was talking about pe- he was talking about people, because people are the ones that got to stand before that judgment seat. Amen. They say all oh, dogs just go to heaven. I'm, that was a joke. <laughs> But people are the ones that got to give account yes, of the deeds that were done right. in our body. So he was talking about people. And remember, when God has, an- God has specifically anointed you, anointed you for that job so that when, when you do what he tells you to, chains are be broken, better understanding, lives are be changed. We also you you have to remember that Jesus said that he um every word out of his mouth shall not come back void and shall be accomplished. Right. Now you must remember that you must live a life where the Holy Ghost completely where the Holy Ghost can dwell. Because the Holy Ghost does not dwell in an unclean place. Does not dwell in an unclean place. Let me help you out. The Holy Ghost is not with you when you're thinking wrong. The Holy Ghost is not with you when you are committing that sin. Hallelujah. Amen. And people, and you know, people can say, you see people, but they are what they're doing is actually working. What they're doing is actually working in their gift, because gifts and calling come out for printing, but God is not getting the glory out of that. But we must, we must do what God has called us to do. We must, we must stay on, we must stay on fire for him. How we stay on fire for him is that we, whatsoever is just, whatsoever is good, report, think on these things. How we, how we stay, how we stay in the, how we stay, how we stay, how our mind says we put on the whole armor of God that we may resist the devil and he shall flee. You ought to tell people about the goodness of the Lord. Tell what he's done. Tell how good he's been. Now, I want to tell you something. The Holy Ghost will lead you and guide you. The Holy Ghost will protect you. The whole, like I said, the Holy Ghost is a supervisor. It will advise you. It will oh, 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 keep you aware of what's to come. What is and what's to be, if you let him. The Holy Ghost, the reason why Jesus sent the Holy Ghost is because he was going back to the right hand of his father. He said, I will ask my father to send you send you another comforter. Because at that time, when Jesus was walking on this earth, he was the comforter. That's why, he, that's why the Holy Ghost had to come. But let me tell you something. The Holy Ghost does the, did the same. The Holy Ghost comfort. The Holy Ghost comforts just like Jesus comforted the disciples. That's right. But before, but before I go, yes, sir. just to let you know, you ought to tell, tell, tell them, be on fire for them. Make sure you stay prayed up fast. You got to tell them, you got to tell them that Jesus takes walk-ins. You got to tell them that Jesus takes walk-ins. Walked out. Yes, he does. You got to tell them that Jesus take in and out. You got to tell them that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. You got Come to on. tell them that every man, that every man has a God got a specific work yes, sir. for every man in the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes, tell of his goodness. Tell of his grace. Yes, when you got the Holy Ghost, you can say, ain't no stopping us now. Come on. We're in the move. We're in the groove. We're moving for Jesus. Yes, we are. Give God a hand of praise. Come on, give Minister Corman a hand of praise. The boy ain't want to stop, you know. The Holy Ghost was on him. <laughs> Leave that there. We're ahead of that. Come on, come on. Give this young man another round of applause. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, make him feel welcome, y'all. Come on. I got you. Amen. Amen. When the word comes, it's our job to hear, to listen, and then obey. Hallelujah to God.
Put your hands together for our very own Sister Arlene Housen. Come on, Minister Arlene Housen. She's coming to bring forth the word of God. Hallelujah. That mic hot now, so you better be ready. <laughs> he just, just got to talk about the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Dropping everything. Good evening, everybody. Give me one moment. I was running late the, the night. I got held up by an accident. I said, Lord, take care of the people. That's all you can do today. Ask God to take care of the people. Take care of yourself on the road and the dangerous highway. Because, you know, sometimes we get up and we always expect God to bring us back. But we want to make sure that we are right with God when we go and when, when we come. Yeah. I thank God for tonight for this little bit of word tonight. I'm going to give you what I got. Yes. Had a very busy week. But I'm still pressing on and plowing. Yes. Plowing in the Holy Ghost. Right. And I was, I was concentrating on Psalm 23. Mm. And I'm just going to give you a familiar passage of yes. scripture tonight. Psalm 23 is an oldie but goodie. Come on. It will sustain you when you don't have nothing at all. And um, I gave this word about seven years ago. Never knew I was going to be a minister. <laughs> Sounds like I pull from the old stuff. Yes, yes. And sometimes the old stuff is the good stuff. It'll keep you. And sometimes we put the old stuff on the shelf and go get all this new stuff uh -huh. and don't look at keeping the old polished up and cleaned up. So I went and got some of the old stuff okay. tonight, y'all. So I'm going in 20, Psalm 23 tonight. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want tonight. Uh -huh. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Please don't fear. I'll tell y'all tonight, don't fear. Don't fear. I don't know, but... I'm looking at 2024, but I know God's going to do it in 2023. It's already done in 2023, but it's going to be done again in 2024. But when we fear, we sometimes we block our blessings. For thou art with me, the rod and thy staff, thou comfort me. Five, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou astonish my head with oil, my cup runneth over. And I'm hoping that your cup is running over tonight. Come on. Y'all say fire in the building. Come on. Let that cup run over higher. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And now I'm going to park at five. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou stunts my head with all my cup runneth over. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give you a topic tonight. Who is eating at your table? Oh, my God. Yes, because, you know, we just got over the Thanksgiving holiday. We all came together, and the table was spread out with all the fixings and the good stuff. But who was really sitting at your table? That's why you need to ask yourself the question. When you prepare that dinner, when you get ready to set the table, to place the, the cup and everything else, who was really sitting at your table tonight? The devil wants to sit at your table. Talk. And let me tell you something. When, he, when you spread that table, you got all sorts of things coming in. So you got things in disguise. <laughs> so you got to be prepared, guys. You got to be prepared. He comes to see what you got. Sometimes you got to guard it. Guard your table. Some tables are not about food. Some tables about the spirit, which you got tonight. But see, when I started reading again, let me go back over the 23rd Psalm. When God said, thou preparest a table before my enemies, so I know my table is set when I go out and when I come in. I know my table has got to be set. Sometimes when you sit at your table, you look around. You check out who's there. You check out. You make sure you have God sitting at your table. That's the number one thing. Allow God to set it. Sometimes you go ahead of God, and when you go ahead of God, you're going to mess up your spread. 
Oh, God, I thank you tonight. Thank you. And then at your table, when I looked at I said the table is a very important part of your, um, for so God to sustain you. He giving you strength at your table. Sometimes when you go to the table and you see everything looking good, and sometimes you can't even eat everything at that table. Mm-mm. You got to back up and say, God help me. And sometimes we do that. And so that's what I'm trying to tell you right now. It's, a, it's another holiday coming up. Check your spread. Check it and make sure you check it twice. And when you check your spread, make sure you got a place for God. Sometimes we get in a hurry and we sit down and we go and do other things. Make sure God is there. Oh, my God. You prepare the table for me, Jesus. And sometimes when God's prepare that table, we get kind of tired and jaded. We go in the kitchen and, and we look around. But guess what? I call on God. I say, God, you got to help me through this today. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to cook. Sometimes I don't want to do anything. I say, God, help me prepare my table. Yes, God. You go before me, God. You know what's ahead. You know what's at my table, God. If my enemies are sitting at my table, guess what? I'm not going to run from my table. I'm going to guard my table. Don't give up your seat and let the devil sit there. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know where that come from, but when I talked about it a long time ago, I wasn't on fire, but when I went back and I said, you know what? I got a table. I got to guard my table. I don't want the enemy to take nothing off my table. You know, up under the table, you know, up, if things go up under the table, you better check up under the table as well because you don't want nothing to reach on the table to take something off the table. So be careful, guys, in the season right now. Be very, very, be very strategic. Now I'm going to come on down to the oil. That oil is precious. You better come on now. That oil is precious. So you got to make sure when you anoint your head with oil, you better make sure your oil is already blessed and always can be able to sustain you. The oil is important. That's the important part. Because you know what? When, I, when you anoint your head, sometimes your head, you got to anoint your whole body. Because sometimes when you sit down, you want to sit down in righteousness. You want to be able to be, let God be able to show you so you can identify things around your table. Because, see, we're looking at a whole table with chairs and everything else. Your table could be your job. Your table could be your home. Your table could be anything that you, that you want God to take control of. So you got to be able to identify. And now all is precious. Oh, my God. Now all, and you want one thing about it. When God really, really want to really do something and heal you and really do some things, that oil, anoint your head. Keep yourself anointed, guys. Oh, my gosh. Keep yourself anointed going and coming. Because it's, you know what? Sometimes we go ahead, like I said, you go ahead of yourself. And sometimes when you don't anoint yourself going out your house, it's very important. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you some things that I saw, some things that I've seen. Anoint yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you got to anoint your clothes, yeah. not your feet, not your eyes, not your ears, so mm -hmm. God could be able to deal with you and, and give, keep you, give you discernment. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, 23rd Psalm is a, is a, is a jam-packed yes, scripture. Yeah. So when I went back, I said, I'm going to give some old stuff tonight. And when I look at my cup running over, oh, my gosh, I want God to just fulfill me in that one little scripture here. You got the table, you got the cup, and you got the oil. Now, what you going to do with all of that? What you going to do with that? I'm going to let God use me in, this, in, that, in, this, in all of this because the cup, when my cup runs over, it's going to overflow with blessings because he already know what he's, what's coming ahead. He already going to know what you're going to get. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you right now, keep your eyes on your own table. Don't look at nobody else's table because guess what? That's not yours because we look at other people's table and it's not yours. Stay with your stuff. Keep your eyes on your cup. Your table and your oil. Make sure you ready and you packed. Because you know why I say these things? Because when, when David was going through, David was going through a tough time. And sometimes I feel like I'm like David. Mm -hmm. I say, God, I'm, I'm here and I'm there. And when I look around, this happening, that happening, this been said, this been said. I don't even know, but I say, God, I ask you to prepare my table. I ask you, God, to keep me anointed. God, I ask you to let my cup runneth over. 
oh my God, till I don't want anymore. And when I go back to the first part of this scripture, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And we want things that we should not have because you know what? God don't want to, he want to bless us right. He don't want us to have certain things. Sometimes we run out and we get this and that. But I want God to bless me with what I should have. Oh my God, in this season. Oh, yes. Y'all, I want y'all to stay with five. See, when you keep reading these scriptures, God keep make sure that things come more clear to you. Right. But when you get to some of these things in the, in the Bible, God will open up a whole new avenue for you. you. Lord, I thank you tonight. You. Yes, Lord, I thank you for the cup. Sometimes the cup be bitter, y'all. Sometimes the cup will be bitter. Sometimes the cup will be a little hard. But I want my cup to run over. In this season, it's strategic, y'all. We've got a few more days. Prepare your table. Let God do the, the preparing. And make sure that you guard your table. Huh? You got a few more days. You don't know who's out there watching. Huh? You don't know what's, who's going out there going to take away from your table. Huh? Let God handle your table. Sometimes when you just sit there and be still and know that I am God, I will be there with you. Sometimes you need to be still and let him do it right. Oh, at that table. Huh? Sometimes that table, hey God, sometimes you got to sit in that one place a little while. Huh? Let God deal with you at that table. Yes. Sometimes uh, if something is not right, huh, let's stay at that table. Huh? Let God do it for you at the table. Huh? Sometimes the table might have to turn a little bit. Huh? Sometimes the table might go this way and that way. You stay at that table. It's your table. You the one going to be able to go out. Huh? You want to be the one to go out and, and witness. Huh? Stay at your table tonight. Huh? Don't run from place to place. Stay at your table. Huh? Let your cup run over. Huh? Let your cup run over with God. Let him fill it up. Huh? Let your, oh my God, I thank you tonight. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let your cup run over this in this season. Yes. Let God be the first person to stress your table. Yes. Let your cup run over. Yes. Lord, I thank you tonight. Mm. Lord, I thank you for the prepared table for your people tonight. I thank you for the prepared table for your people tonight, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let that cup run over, Jesus. Some of them been asking for some things, huh? Let it run over for them in these last days, God. God, I ask you to let them dig deep. Dig deep. While you at your table, ask God to fix it for you. Maybe you might have to turn the, turn the plate one way. Sometimes you have to turn the cup down at your table. Sometimes you got to fast at that table to break some things, oh Lord God. Yes, God. That table will sustain you in this hour. The cup will sustain you. Make sure your oil is at your table. Lord, I thank you tonight for these three things. Three simple things. You don't have to go out and spend no whole bunch of money, but these three things. Let God sustain you in this hour. But let him prepare your table tonight. Mm, Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, let him prepare your table. Amen. Mm, yeah, yes, yes. yes. If God don't prepare your table, yes. I don't know what else to tell you. Come on. I want God to sit at my table. Yes, we do. I know you want God to sit at your table. Yeah. I know you want God to eat with you, huh? suck with you, and come on in. Huh? That should be the first thing you should do. Make sure you got a place for God. Mm, before Hallelujah. you run and start doing everything else, make sure the table is set with God. Mm. I was reading a long time ago. This lady, she was lonely. She didn't have a husband. But guess what? She set a place at her table. She prayed for her husband. Come on. Guess what? She got a husband. She believed that at her table. Try, that. Try some things. Oh my God. Thank you. At your table. Yes, if you need some things, God will do it. He'll yes, do it. He will do it. He will do it. Yes. Come on, give Mr. Housey a round of applause. Come on. Come on, come, come on, give God praise for that word. Songs 23, at the table. Amen. To God be the glory at this part of the service. We're going to ask everyone, amen. God loveth the cheerful giver. Amen. We're going to ask you to bless us with your $10 offering. If you're able, amen, to bless us, that's not much for a Friday night. Some of y'all spend more than that on Friday night.
Amen. Ten, ten dollars won't really give you much. Amen. I'm going to give 20. So if you can, amen, give at least 10 tonight, we're going to ask you to bless God's house with that. Amen. That's just to cover the lights. Amen. To God be the glory. Everyone standing all over the building, we have four ways you can give here at Mount Pisgah. We have Cash App. Amen. You can even mail it in. You that are watching, amen. We even have Give Defy. Amen. Mount Pisgah Independent Methodist Church. Or you can mail it in. Come on, let's pray. Father, bless this offering, God, these sheep of your pasture. Allow them, God, to give cheerfully and willfully. Father, don't let their barrels run dry. Continue to be Jehovah Jireh in their life. And I would tell testimony would be you did it and not another in jesus name we pray come give that seed that offering no man today the lord is high above the hill the lord is high above the hill and is high above the hill The Lord is high above the hill And His glory above the name The Lord is high above the hill And His glory above the name We're going to give God the highest praise And knowledge and glory And all the people say Halle, halle, hallelujah Halle, 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 halle Halle, halle, halle Amen. Thank you for what you're giving. Any sent by money. Money sent by you, not for you. Amen. Father, bless these gifts, God, that have come. Continue to multiply them a hundredfold. In Jesus' name. And everybody that agrees, say amen. I ain't going to stop and preach no sermon that in between. Amen. Come on, Minister Herbert. Amen. Put your hands together for the son of the house. Amen. Minister Antonio Herbert. Minister Corlum and tore it down. Amen, sister. Amen. Herbert. Amen. How's it? Say, come on at the table. Now we're about to get. Amen. Minister Herbert. Come on, put your hands together. Make them feel welcome. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm going to kind of skim through what I wrote down. I forgot when me and Pastor was together Saturday. He said 10 minutes. Yes, sir. 8.47. Yeah. <laughs> so I wrote something down like I was going to be up here by myself. So y'all forgive me. That's all right. Uh, we're going to talk about the fire. So let's come from Matthew, not Matthew, Acts 2 and 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I come to let you know tonight, God is a consuming fire. Once God is a consuming fire, you can let your neighbor know that the results are in. The results are in when you have the fire burning inside. When you have the fire living with inside you, when you're in your prayer room, you can say, God, let my tongues be as fire. Let my prayer be set as fire. Or if you are a preacher in your ministry, you say, Lord, let my ministry be as fire. Let my members be on fire. Or when you're in your prayer room, say, Lord, bless my mom to receive the fire. Let my dad receive the fire. Let my grandma receive receive the fire your children receive the fire doesn't matter how old they are let the world know that your children shall receive the fire doesn't matter what the sin that they're living in God say let your children receive the fire say fire 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 our God is a consuming fire fire dwells within deep side of us our fire is unquenchable God's fire is unstoppable God's fire lives
those within inside us in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh, uh, Jeremiah 20 and 9 said but he said his word was in my heart as a burning fire is a burning fire the fire of God dwelt within his bones he was talking about the word of God he was talking about the word of God living deep down inside of him he was talking about the word dwelling inside of him in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus David said thy lamp is a word unto my feet and a light unto my pathway I come to let you know tonight when you got the fire you can tread around those that are in darkness when you got the fire doesn't matter who's sitting beside you let them know that you got the fire the fire dwelling in you Jesus said behold I given you power to tread on serpents and over scorpions and all power over the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you tell your neighbor I got the fire Tell your neighbor I got the fire. I come to let someone know tonight. Don't limit God in this fire. Don't limit God in this fire. Quarter me, you were stepping on my scripture. The, the word of God said in Luke 4 and 18. Jesus said, Oh, the, the Spirit of God is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken and hearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. To set at liberty them that are bruised. I come to let you know what's the fire that is inside of you. Tell sickness to back up. Tell blindness to back up. Tell pain that's wrecking your body to back up. The spirit of God is upon us. He has anointed us to preach the gospel. I come to let you know tonight this is your season not to be quiet. I tell you the results are in. The fire is within me. Hey! The fire that is within me. The fire keeps us from falling in sin. David said thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. The fire reminds us of the direction that we are going the fire reminds us that we can't go back to sin the fire reminds us that there has to be a turnaround a turnaround in our life a turnaround in our mind a turnaround in our heart somebody say fire 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 Deuteronomy 4 and 24 said for our God is a consuming fire and he is a jealous God tell your neighbor I need the fire I need the fire to burn in my marriage I need the fire to burn in my marriage I need the fire when I go on my job around those that are living in sin I need the fire I need the fire of God to just dwell in me I need the fire of God to live in me somebody say fire tell your neighbor he's a consuming fire the results are in the fire lives within you the fire dwells in you the fire abides in you John said I am shoes that I'm not even worried to let but he shall baptize you he shall baptize you with holy ghost and fire somebody say fire fire look up to heaven say God release your fire from your throne release your fire Real. I need the fire. Or I need the fire to be in me. Especially around those that are lukewarm. In 
especially all those that are cold, that are not even hot, that God say he will spill you out in. I need the fire. Tell your name I need the fire. Tell your name I need the fire. The fire of God that is within me. The fire of God that is within me. He, he makes his angels spirits and his ministers of flame and fire. How will you walk this walk? You can't preach like you're cold. You can't preach like you're cold. You got to preach like God has given you the fire. Go back to the day that you was ordained. ordained. Go back to the day when your leader poured oil on your head. That's all you need is a remembrance of the fire of God. The fire, the fire, the fire. When John baptized Jesus, a spirit descended from above. Tell God to send the fire. Descend the fire. Descend the fire. The results are in. Come on, put your hands together. The results are in. Come on, Mr. Tamara. I ain't gonna start. You good? Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna start. Hallelujah. Amen. Obedience is <laughs> better. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It, you won't say that? Amen. Amen. Well, come on, tell us about the cost of the all. Come on, put your hands together. This is our last minister, y'all. Minister Tamara. Amen. She's going to come forth and tell you what does said the Lord. The lady was sick tonight. She wasn't even going to come, but now she in the house. Can y'all stand and make her feel welcome? Come on up here, Minister Tamara, y'all. There's a word in her belly. Amen. She's going to do it the way she do it. She can't be nobody else but her. Come on, give it up for our minister. Amen. She's bringing up the real. <laughs> he sent the word and the word healed them. Come on up here, sister. I don't care if you don't give a testimony. Pastor, Amen. Whatever God give you, Pastor, I, lay it I was, on it. I was sitting there trying to get my scripture together, but ooh, God, <laughs> I tell you what. Come people on. don't know what you have to go through for the cost of the all. Come on, that's why we're here. I tell you. That's why we're here. Ooh, Jesus, the cost of the all. You're gonna have to be deny you're gonna have to deny yourself for a lot of things. You're gonna have to go through a lot of things. When they saying this and that, you're gonna have to be humble and just just listen and don't say nothing. You're gonna have to just stay before God, fasting and praying, and just be be the one God called you to be. Because that cost, people don't know he costs people don't know what you go through for the cost of the own. My spirit is so broken tonight because last night, you don't know, I thought I was going to die, but I said, God, I know who you are. And I told Pastor my blood pressure was 147 over 97. I said, but God, you are the God that I know that healeth me. That's what I'm telling you, the cost of the all. People don't know what you have to go through just for the anointing of the all. If Jesus had to go through, what you think about us? And that's why it takes so much for pastors to go through so much. That anointing in the all that they got to go through. How they got to stay before God just for us. Oh, God. It's a lot. People don't know, but I know because I walked side by side my first pastor for over 20 some years. And I still stick by her. But it's a it's a lot for the all that they got to go through. They may be sick in their bodies. They may lose this one or that one. The, my other pastor had three family members that they had to bury. But she had to be the one to stay before God just for the people. For the all. They was calling her, screaming and hollering. When we called pastor all time of night, Y'all don't know what he done went through the day before. Even at the house, 
It's a cost, y'all. It's a cost for the y'all. She can't know who she and the all of us. We got to get serious, God, y'all. If we have a real anointing on our life, we got to be serious for God. Tiki yando poshila mande. Hita na mando sakabasi. Hilo boshi. Hola ba solo mandi olo boshi. And I tell the devil all the time, if I got to die living for God, let me die, devil. Because it's a lot. But I'll go through just for the sake of God. I got to go through for the sake of God. Our lives are not going to be the same when he called us to do something. You can't do what everybody else do. When somebody say, let's go here, you're going to say, no, I can't do it. You're going to have to deny. You're going to have to do a lot of denying. And 2024 haven't even made it here yet. All I can tell y'all, y'all better really deny things in some people. Some people you ain't going to be able to take with you into 2024. If they're not walking the way you walk, bye-bye. I got to do what God say do. Just like he was bought with a price, I was too. I was bought with a price. And yes, Pastor, no, for the longest time, I, I know the calling on my life, but, but I know if I encourage my brother here to walk away from things, I said, God, it excited me so just to see how God saved him. I said, God, that's my brother. I said, God, all it took was just me being obedient to you. I said, but God, help me to continue to be obedient and to deny. Because for the cost of the all, it's going to take obedience, 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 to God and denying the works of the devil and everything that you say it will be tested that's why I'm up here speaking but I know everything come out of my mouth it's gonna come with a test but I've been walking with God long enough to know that everything I've been through in my life it was a test but I always know how to stay before God. And if you've got a praying pastor and a praying church, a praying, mo praying mothers, a praying first lady, let me tell you something. You better stick with them. Because you're not going to make it without prayer. Because prayer, when it, <laughs> when it gets you like, I'm not, like this tonight, you can't do nothing without it. I'm glad I was in a praying church because I didn't know how to pray. But at <laughs> doing them shut-ins and denying myself and learning how to fast and being able to be obedient when God said, oh, 21 day fast, eating one meal a day. When he said do it, you better know he's telling you to do it for a, minute, for a reason. But I just, on tonight I just bless God and to tell you all to know the cost of the all because you will have to deny deny and be obedient to God come on come on everyone standing amen say anointing oh yeah say fall on me Come on, let me hear you. Come on, all over the building. Come on, we're worshiping. Say, let the power of yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Say, anointing fall. Come on, one more time. 
Say it like you mean it. Anointing. Anointing. Come on, disturb hell on tonight. Sing it. Lift up your voice. Say, follow me. Say it like you mean it. Anointing. Yes, Lord Jesus, let it fall. Let the power. Yes, Lord. I want it and I need it. Say your anointing fall. I know we had prayer earlier, but if you're here today and you're in pain, you don't have to leave the same way you came in. The power of Jesus is in the house and it's ready to bring deliverance and healing to your body. You don't have to leave here the same way you came. You can come now. We'll pray with you and for you. The Bible says by your stripes, we are here but the only thing you got to do is come jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and he said i'll give you rest i'll give you rest for your soul hallelujah say follow me yeah say anointing fall we're coming in faith it's my responsibility to link my faith with your faith. Jesus told, amen, the woman, be it done unto you according to your faith. You see, with faith, you can move mountains. And we just need you to believe. He coming for prayer. Thank you. Raise your hand. Say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. Name. Say that with me. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Woo, I hear your sister. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Oh, you healed in Jesus' name. I'm That's the word of Jesus God. Name. Healing is the children's bread. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I'm in Jesus Woo! Name. Say I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus name. name. Say I won't go back the same. You say I won't go back the same. Woo! Shut up. Say I won't go back the same. I won't go back the same. I won't go back the same. No, 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 no. I won't go back the same. Oh, I won't go back the same. Say healing belongs to me. Healing belongs to me. Cause God said it. He's doing it now, even as we minister. I believe it. All the time he may not want to allow me to touch and lay hands. Healing it's coming through your words. It's coming through your affirmation and your manifestation. Healing Cause God said, and I believe it. I believe it. Woo, shut up. He's doing the work now. Healing belongs to me. Healing yes, it does. To me. And I claim it because it's mine. Healing belongs oh, to me. Oh, God said it. God said it. And I believe it. I believe it. Need you praying with us? I believe, I believe it. There are two of you, maybe three, that need to come in intercessory prayer for somebody that needs healing in their body. You don't have to come for yourself. Intercessory. I Woo. It. Say, I believe it. I believe the scripture says, By his stripes, we are healed. We claim healing now. Anoint them with oil. I, I knew it was at least a couple of you. Some of them coming up for other things. And that's fine. Shut up. I believe it. I believe it. And say, I receive it. I receive it. 
As I lay my hands on you, God say, by his stripes, you are healed. This ain't no hocus pocus. This is just faith with works. When they pierced Jesus in the side, the Bible says blood and water came out. Whew, the blood was for the healing of the land. The washing was for the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. So as I lay my hands on you, you will receive your healing. Be it done unto you according to your faith. In Jesus' name. I receive it. I receive it. It's mine. Yabashata. Come on, by your stripes, have faith. Believe, 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 believe. In Jesus. Shata by Yeshete. Yeshete. If you're looking for something, you don't should look for nothing. It happens on the inside. Halabashete. In Jesus' name. But I do believe something on the inside should manifest on the eyes. Shate! The joy of the Lord in my strength. Come on, we, we know it's already done. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Healing belongs to me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. I receive it. Say, I receive it. Next time you see your sister Mary and Sabrina, lay hands on them and say, I plead the blood of Jesus. Anoint her hands. Anoint Sister Betty's hands. I don't care when you see them. By faith, I want you to. Woo! You need to say that. Say, by faith, be healed in Jesus' name. Speak that until they're like. By faith, be healed in Jesus' name. While you're laying hands on them, lay hands on Mama too. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be that healed from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Every area. And he shot out in Jesus' name. Your faith have made you whole. Shout out. I receive it. I receive it. Raise your hand all over this building. Point your hand towards this young lady. She's standing in proxy for her aunt. How many know God still make house calls? How many know he still goes by the hospital? Amen. We're going to believe and trust God as I lay my hands on you. You're coming in intercessory prayer. God says it's already done in her life because of your act of faith as I lay my hands on you. Amen. I'm touching you, but she's going to feel the touch. In the name of the Father, I believe. In the name of the Son, I receive. It is so. In Jesus' name, be it done unto you according to your faith. In Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus has made us whole. In Jesus' name. Shate kolobo shata. Come on, clap your hands all over the building. In Jesus' name. Be thou made whole. Be it done unto you according to your faith. Say it's done. Say I receive it. And give God a shout. Open your mouth and give him a shout. That's going to seal yours. A shout. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. That's yours. Thank you. Bless you. Come on. We're standing all over the building. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Give our musicians a round of applause. They always come through. We got Day Day. We got Joshua. We got the maestro, our minister of music. How many of y'all heard her Wednesday night on the prayer line? Huh? Huh? The girls. <laughs> hey. Amen. Amen. I don't have any daughters. I have three sons, amen, and five grandkids. Five? Yeah, I'm looking for my wife. She be helping me. Five. Jazz, I got five grandkids. Okay, Jesus. Amen, but I don't have any daughters. But that's my daughter. Amen. That's our minister of music. The kingdom minister of music. Amen, because we don't own nobody. Amen. But we thank God, amen, for God loaning her to us. Thank God for our, amen, lead lady of Harvest of Believers came out tonight. Put your hands together for the lead lady of Harvest of Believers. And they got the jumping pastor, the shouting pastor, and the singing daughter, and the praise team daughter. Amen. Sister Mella, Evangelist Mella, love you, sister. Thank you for coming. You surprised me. Hey, man, I didn't know you do pop-ups. <laughs> to God be the glory.
That's what love does. Love comes sometimes without even a warning because that's what love does. It gives without expecting anything in return. Amen. And I feel like Brother Williams and his family are just family. Amen. Give him a hand praise. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. It's good to see you. Amen. It's good to see you. Would y'all like anything to say? Y'all fine? You sure? Anything? Little mama? Little mama, you want to say something? You sure? Okay, I thought you were singing a song in the car when you was over here. What was that? You remember? Okay, she's like, God, she's a pastor. Don't put that on me. Amen. I'm looking at preacher. He's looking up. <laughs> He's still looking up. Preacher, you want to say something? <laughs> Amen. God bless you. We love you so much. How many of y'all joined the service on tonight? Amen. Amen. I felt that long-winded spirit come on me. After, amen, she got up. I said, no, God, no, no. Y'all need to go enjoy yourself. Amen. Sister Cassandra, we love you. Thank you for coming out. Sister Betty, Sister Williams, amen. Sister Trin, I'm calling everybody now. Tiffany, amen. Who that is I'm with you? Huh? Oh, Cam here? I didn't know Cam was here. Amen. Good to see you, Cam. Day Day, the twin girls. Amen. Come here, girls. Y'all gonna help me close. Amen. I like to work these young people. How many know they're the church of the day? Amen. They're the church of the day. Aren't they beautiful, y'all? Aren't they beautiful? Amen. You, you, um, both of y'all did something one Sunday. They sung. That's right. You remember the song y'all sung? You do? I, I don't remember it. Can you help me remember it? Okay, let me see how it goes. How'd the song go? What was it? Jehovah Jireh. How'd it go? They know it, right? sing it today. Y'all better watch what these children be saying now. Because what they say at the house, they're saying church. They ain't got no filter. Huh? I'm going to teach y'all a song. Say, okay? Say, Jesus is the light. You say, Jesus. Jesus is the light. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, is the, Jesus, is, the Jesus, Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. You say it. Jesus is the light. 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 Jesus is the light, shine bright, shine bright, shine bright, shine bright, shine bright, shine bright, shine bright. Jesus is the Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Sing it, y'all. Shine bright. Say shine bright. He shines bright. Say shine bright. Say shine, 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 shine bright. He shines bright. He shines bright. They smiling, y'all. Jesus is the Jesus. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. He shines bright. He shines bright. He shines bright. Shines bright. Say in my heart. 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 
Say in my mind. Say in my mind. Say in my mind. Say in my mind. Jesus is Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Rock like this, y'all. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. We're getting some rhythm next Sunday. Jesus is the light. Last time. Jesus is the light. Come on, give him a hand. Everyone standing. We love you so much. Amen. I was researching fires and I found out that there was three types of fires when it comes to colors. One is red, one is orange, and the last one is white. It's amazing how the hardest fire is white. The Bible said in the book of Acts, when the Spirit of God came down on God's people, it set upon them like fire. Amen. So I want to encourage everyone to continue to hear God's words from these four wonderful ministers. Let's give Minister Quallman another hand praise. He didn't want to go first, but he did a good job. Come on, give it up for Minister Housie, Minister Herbert, and Minister Young. We love you. Amen. I could not do what I'm doing without you guys and without you. We love you so much. Amen. Everyone standing, raise your right hand. Amen. In total adoration to God. Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you, God, for what our eyes have seen, our hearts have felt. Continue to remind us who we are in you. Help us, God, not to be disappointed about our lifestyle, but help us, God, to live holy and acceptable, even, God, behind closed doors. Help us to understand the power of the word and to know that the oil, God, the fire, God, we got to understand that the table got to be set in order for Jesus to abide on the inside of us. Father, we ask for travel in mercy. Go ahead of us, God. Oh, God, keep Bambi in the woods in the name of Jesus. Let us find our loved ones safe from harm's danger until we meet again in Jesus' name. Hug somebody and say, I love you. I love you. God bless you. We love you.